polyphonic spectral shaping doesn't only lend itself to the harmonic overtone editing of a sound, but also the EQ tone. Yes, you can now EQ the tonality of your audio source using a polyphonic spectral shaping equalizer. Now, what does that mean? It means that we're using the Melodyne engine to also edit the tonality and color of your sound. Now, to get to this window here, if you don't see it up here in the top left corner, there are some icons and just simply select the one that says sound editor. Now, whatever audio I have selected in the workspace here, you can see I've got the orange icon activated. It's going to populate that same fingerprint of that sound here in the sound editor. Let's take a listen to this track a little bit and you'll see that the equalizer is separated into bands and those frequencies are also represented by the letter value. For example, A, B, C, D, and so on. Here we go. So as you noticed, while the auto played back, there is an energy ball bouncing on each band showing you the amount of energy for each frequency. Now what we're looking at here in, the, in this area, let me uh, close my note editor window so we can have a much larger view here, is the shape. Now this is a kind of a view of the general fingerprint, as I said before, of the audio, the tonality of it. And what we're going to do is here begin editing this. Now this is the famous bar zero. Anything that's non-musical gets truncated down into this area. So whenever I'm cleaning up audio, I often start with this one by lowering it. Now you can select bands. You can do some sweeping and some boosting. You can also select areas of audio and increase and decrease it that way. So it's very flexible as you can see. And you can also choose groups of audio. For example, if I wanted to choose the E note value frequency on every one, I can double click on it and bring it up. Now holding my command key, I can shift and click and it resets everything for you. Here we've got the settings value. We can reset the spectrum, copy it, clear, and shuffle the spectrum. What shuffling does, it's gonna randomize it for you to give you different tonality sound effects. Take a listen. Just a little bit of fun there. Now let me reset the spectrum and as you will see, it goes back to its original normal status. And here in the top right, we have a bypass function for A being our work and a gain control for matching the level should that change at any time. Now down at the bottom, we've got some macro sliders. The first one is brilliant. By raising this, it'll do exactly what you think it does. It'll increase the brightness of that sound. Take a listen. and we can decrease it. The next one here is contour. This is going to accentuate what already exists and invert it too. That's really interesting. Let's take a listen to this effect here. Now following, we get the tonality. We're gonna affect the tonality of it. And this is going to be kind of like a filtering effect. Take a listen. Now keep in mind, yes, I am exaggerating this because I wanna show you the principle of what these can do. A little bit goes a long way, right? And this will be our comb filtering by removing large bands of these frequencies. Take a listen. But generally, what I like to do is I want to remind you, here's something you need to keep in mind. When you're using the EQ function here, along with your Melodyne work, it's all happening polyphonically within the Melodyne engine. So, you know, it's a great way to include this in your processes uh, rather than apply another insert effect, for example, and taxing your computer a little bit more. 
because the spot the polyphonic spectral engine is all going to happen at the same time in conjunction with your other audio, audio editing choices like pitch and amplitude and format editing so by happening all in one program you're not taxing your computer anymore like that it's kind of a really great uh, way to keep in mind and stay productive and keep your workflow going uh, let's do a little bit of sweeping here. I hear certain frequencies. I'm going to double click on my E bands, the the note E, and I'm going to increase it. So if I wanted to bring some of that ringing down, let's do some sweeping. And as you can hear, a little bit does go a long way. Now, if I didn't want to affect a all of these bands, I can undo it and just take one or two of these bands and let's grab the right one there yeah and there you have it so the EQ function here is located under the new sound editor option you can activate it here by double clicking I mean by selecting it here in the top left corner and then you can begin utilizing some of the EQ functions alongside with your more typical audio editing functions here in Melodyne. Again, really adding more value and helping your workflow uh, really greatly, you know, when you're using Melodyne in your audio editing and your mixing environment. Because keep in mind, this option is available in Melodyne's studio version, and it'll work in either standalone or as a plugin in whatever DAW you're using, your DAW of choice. <laughs>